you know, I always get asked the question, well, Reggie, where did you get all these jars from? Where did you get them? Well, this current batch of jars that are coming in, uh, obviously we get them when we clean them and, and we, um, we take the labels off them. And they're coming at the rate of about one a week, I guess. I'm only sort of guessing one a week, something like that. And um, the thing is, like I've been given one again today. Reggie, Reggie, when am I going to stop? When am I going to stop giving you these jars? I said, never, <laughs> never, never, never going to stop giving me the jars. Because they all add up. All right, it might only be one a week. And um, hold on. But if you collect enough of them, hold on for long enough, the very same jar. Now we're only going to look around. We're only looking for the very same jar. Anything different we're not interested in. Just looking for these particular jars that are coming, coming in at the moment. Hold on. Uh, uh. that one there being put away? Uh, these are slightly different. Different make of coffee, but with a red lid on. Hold on. Yeah, same, but red lid. Some of the bigger jars are coming in. We've got two here, haven't we? Right. And, and you should think the same. Find something useful. And just keep, keep collecting them. Every time I walk in, come on, pick one. Debbie washes it, takes the label off, and then she'll, um, yeah, slightly different shape now. Um, she'll take the label off, and she, oh, looking for them. She'll take the label off, and um, I carry it in here. Of course it goes you know goes on the on the shelf obviously i've used a few um in between times but the ones you don't use immediately hold on have we got them all now of them yeah so the ones that you don't use let's just check around there uh, oh, slightly different size maybe Different shape, different make, I think. Comes from the same place though. Anyway, they they do, if you're getting a, a coffee pot from work, one a week, say, look, they soon add up. All right, there's, um, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. There's nine weeks there alone, yeah. And there's a few more that I've, that I've had that may have come from there. And I don't remember where they all come from, but they sort of ring a bell. And then all of a sudden, he's got the making. What is, what is one jar saved from the bin becomes two jars. And you know me, if you've got two jars, you're going to have four jars. And if you've got four jars, you've got to have eight jars, haven't you? And it's soon, and then you've got a making of a shelf, making of a something to do with them. So like I say, one is just as important as all of them. Yeah, you just keep plodding on, plodding on. Obviously you have to have backup cupboards. But as you've seen, inside my backup cupboards, there are all sorts of different sizes. Different ones that have come in, some are old, some are new, some are different sizes, some are different volumes. But it is nice to have a whole load of the very same jars um, for your shelves. So yeah, if you've got, we all got to work. If you've got a tea kitty or something in the office, this is coming from an office tea kitty. Tea kitty. And they roughly go through a jar a week. Sometimes I'm lucky, I get two jars. Um, but yeah, keep them coming, keep them coming, keep them coming. 
that's how you then get and in this particular case it's a jar it's a clear jar with a plastic lid but if there is something that gets used regularly i'm saying in your workplace that's probably the way even at home there's a particular handy jar don't think of it as a one-off think of it as oh actually if i had a dozen of these I could make a nice shelf. If I had two dozen of these, I could make nice two shelves. So, thank you, thank you, thank you very much of what's come so far. And um, keep going, yeah, keep going. There's 52 weeks in a year, isn't there? All of a sudden, you've got 52 of them. And in two years, you've got 104 of them, haven't you? Yeah, wow. So, we... Um, do you remember sometimes you just gotta buy some just to put them in the stores you don't know when you're going to use them but if you buy them cheap enough you see them and you think oh i better get them put them in the stores anyway six months later we hope it's the same one we try to get the screwdriver in here i remember this is a special screwdriver for this so i nearly had to make my own screwdriver <laughs> again nearly but um, let's have a look. Let's see if, uh, let's take the blade out of that. Let's see if I bought the right thing. It's a bit fiddly to get to, but it's very long. It takes up all the screwdriver. It goes down there and it just releases the blade a little bit. And let's give it half a turn, pull it out. Were we right? Were we right? I think we were. Ooh, yeah. That's going to do. That is the one. So you have to sometimes bring, if you see it, and you might not see it again, or you've got to buy stuff, even when you don't want to use for it, put it in the stores, because the day will come and you'll want a blade for it, and that's no good for the one we want to do. We're going to cut some wood up. And I'm not particularly a wood person, but uh, I'm getting there slowly with Scoutcrafter's help. But look, <laughs> it's worth, it's always worth buying the stuff when you know you use it and it's in the stores. You know what it's like, you know. You want a spare, and then you want a spare spare, don't you? Then you never run out. Hmm. You're never in the position where, damn, I haven't got a blade for it. Damn, I haven't got a spare. That's why I keep all my spares. And that's why I keep so many hacksaw blades, because you don't know when you're going to snap the next one. Little junior hacksaw blades. That's why I bought, um, was it a thousand Stanley blades? You just never know when, uh, see bought them but they're a different sort a different machine yeah and different blades look so it's always worth keeping your stores when you bump into them so yeah when you haven't seen anything particular and you haven't blown your budget in your first or your second stall in the car boots always pick up stores because you just never know when you're going to need them and okay yeah this is six months later but nevertheless that strategy has worked six months later. <laughs>